So you ready for a brand new game? Oh yeah. You ready for the weirdest shit you will ever see? <laughs> I'm so ready. What? Uh, this is how you play. You can uh, use the controller or the mouse. What the fuck is that cat? As, you don't. It's, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die. Oh, good title. Uh, originally, it was an Xbox One exclusive, so that's why the cursor in the center of the screen looks like a hand. Oh. You could use uh, just Kinect controls to go through this entire game. Oh, really? It was a complete Kinect-controlled game. This It's an adventure game, so it's forgivable. Um, but using this on the computer, anytime you see the R hand, the right hand, I am using the mouse. Anytime you see the left hand, I am using the controller. And outside of one instance, I'll be using the controller the entire time. Um, this game was ported to the PC, it's why I'm playing it with a mouse and controller. Uh, it's, st it's staying off of the PS4, because Microsoft. Makes sense. So this is the latest game from Hidetaka Suehiro, or Swery65, uh, known for spy fiction and deadly premonition, which are just their own experience. So you can see I have free movement with the mouse, but if I want to use the controller, I'm locked in. Ah, nice. Season one, huh? So this is an episodic game. Ah. And based on the format, uh, the way that it presents the game, it totally makes sense to be episodic. Okay. Um, the only thing is that this game... I, if I had to pick a game that wasn't really good for the Xbox audience, it would be this. So this game didn't sell very well. That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, it does, uh, because I love this game. It is stupid in all the right ways. <laughs> yeah, we do like stupid games. This one is the best kind of stupid so far. David. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. <laughs> well, that was fast. Well, I mean, it in the game it happened years ago, so. <laughs> oh. I mean, that's really fast? <laughs> yep. Okay, owl, hello. Yeah, be careful. It's not exactly what it looks like. Oh. What? God damn it fucking with me already. Uh, if you're complaining now, uh, you are in for a rough ride. <laughs> so during cutscenes in this game, there will be little prompts that come up. You just hold down the Y button. Oh. And it just gives you more information and you earn credits, which is the in-game currency. Okay. Where's her father that she just waved to? On the shore. She's she's standing on a frozen lake right now. Uh, of course she is. <laughs> so the way that we interact with the game is to hover over things 
and this is our investigation. Okay. Gives us little flavor text. Some things have more to say than others. The two ways that you can interact with objects is to grab them or to push them. Okay. And doing little actions like these, gain us a few credits, picking up credit medals, give us even more. But you can also lean from side to side. <laughs> so you can see other things around you. We're not going to be using this mechanic too often. Uh, this is more for finding little secrets. Mm, okay. Is there free movement? Like, you can just walk around? There is not. Ah. Okay. So that'll come up in the tutorial pretty quickly. Gotcha. But there are certain things that you can push repeatedly. Yeah. Um, you get points for every time you push something up to a point. <laughs> Always nice. Love you. So there are a couple ways you can move forward. Uh, you can either move the cursor over to the icon and grab it, or if you're using a controller, whatever direction you're pointed in, you can just hit forward with the right stick. Oh, that's different. So long as you're facing a direction that you can move in. <laughs> Fuck those signs, just knock them over. I mean, yeah, they say danger thin ice, but who's really going to use them? Right. If they're out there, they're screwed anyway. So we're just collecting extra credits as we move closer to the owl, our next objective. Getting rid of huge snowballs that are just randomly out on the ice. I think those are fishing buoys. Oh. <laughs> okay. Which, why they're on top of the ice is a little weird, I guess. <laughs> just a bit push the owl. Um, so we're going to hold off, because there <laughs> is a credit medal right here. Okay. Screw you, owl. But if I were to push this owl, I think I'd want to push it right... Oh. In the face. Here. Yes. <laughs> and that's the tutorial. Oh, good. Well, we've learned a lot. Beautiful, cute. I love, I love how it's stream of consciousness. Pretty much. That's that's pretty cool. And on repeated playthroughs, there are certain <laughs> things of flavor text that change. Oh. So they're semi-randomized. Oh, okay. Oh no. And here it goes. Oh. It's a little late there, buddy. Yeah. Why? Why did you let her get all the way out there? So if you didn't pay too close attention, the owl was actually sitting on a dead frozen deer. Oh, I thought it was a log. <laughs> oh my god. It is definitely not. <laughs> now I see it. Wow. Dark dreams don't die. I think something's pretty dead. <laughs> Okay, so he's falling into a tub. What is that on the left? Ah, uh, you'll find out. Okay. Kind of look like turds in a bag, but that's just me. It's not. <laughs> Obviously it's not. Oh, that can't have felt good. So we'll get an explanation as to why that just happened. Uh, but first... We gotta wake him up. And since I am using a controller, you will see every movement I make when it comes to these prompts. Okay. So let's just rub him across the face. 100% synchro <laughs> rate. So a bit like Assassin's Creed, some actions and some ways that you interact with people 
increases your synchro rate. I didn't see you again this time either. Uh, the only thing you can get from that is extra bonus credits at the end. Okay. What? Where is he? He's in his bathroom. That's. A, he's got a fucked up bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't all be clean like you. <laughs> you don't keep your bats My in your bathroom David. next to your rusty toilet. <laughs> I do not. Boston PD. And now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly. Drugs and chewing gum. Okay. So you dislike chewing gum. Is that why you keep it in Two your mouth? Ago, hey, there's a reason for everything. My wife. <laughs> okay. Since then, I've been using every so, of my life to solve. I don't case. know if this happens in the Xbox version, using a set but the mirrors in this game power. do not like my PC. <laughs> How so? There's some weird lighting glitches. <laughs> Great. So David's just uh, doing detective work in his bathroom. Yeah, he's, he's got to search the past. I like to see that he would never cleaned up the blood. You can't disturb the crime scene until the crime's been solved. <laughs> That's fair. It's That's like Detective CSI that. 101. <laughs> so you can see the meter that we have in the top left-hand corner. Mm-hmm. So this game uses a stamina meter, and for just about every action you do, use stamina. The bullet that robs me of that. Okay. Now you can you can earn stamina back and just ignore I that lady. Just, the, yep. just ignore yep. it. Just, oh it's fine. <laughs> so you can earn stamina back by eating food. Oh, good. Two for three dollars, or two dollars for three. So if you lose all of your stamina, you don't die, but whatever you were doing, it's just kind of abruptly take you out of it. Okay. A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures. Mementos. So a core mechanic of this game is the memento. Okay. So when David said that he searches the past, he quite literally does that by using these mementos to go back to certain events in time to try to track down his wife's killer. So like the butterfly effect, sort of, without changing the future. Uh, he kind of does change what he interacts with. It, it's, it's really weird. You'll see. <laughs> okay. Little Peggy. <laughs> Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection. Or on a broken fire escape, a under a lampshade, kitchen, in a crowded smoking section, in a porta potty, in the back of a police car, on a roller coaster, in a cat's litter box, <laughs> on top of a doghouse, on a radio antenna, under a diving board. You know, the normal places. Yeah, everywhere. <sighs> From the day she died, this has been my place to work. So there are certain things you can interact with that trigger flashbacks slash memories of Peggy. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's all she's really relegated to. I wanted to pick this thing up off the ground, but I have no idea what it is. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, no, I don't know what that is either. There's a chance that it's, like, extra mementos, but we don't ever find out. <laughs> Good. No results this time either. This case is in the clear. This case is in the clear? I don't think so. So he was investigating the owner of that shoe, and turns out, not the killer. <laughs> Alright. Oh, thank God, tequila. 
<laughs> Product of Mexico, 100% agave. <laughs> One drink after work. Nah, more like two or three. Oh, what was that? You want a drink? Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. This game is what I'm about. There's only one thing I need after work. Tequila. Straight. It's the only thing. Nothing mixed in. So, a couple of quick times in this game. None of them are too bad. Some of them are kind of bad. Oh, no. But you have to slam down the cup three times. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect stimulation for my lead-filled brain. Get it? Because there's a bullet literally in his head? Yep. Yep. <laughs> You always look so happy drinking that. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy now. No, he doesn't. Does it really taste that good? Maybe I'll just try a little. Peggy. I, I already know that's the girl from the beginning. No. <laughs> she has the two dots under her eyes. No. <laughs> you can't know that. <laughs> Solving this game already. See what you can do without a bullet in your head? Okay, but knowing that that's the little girl doesn't solve her killer. It was the ice. <laughs> You've gotten nowhere. <laughs> I do think it's a little strange how the picture looks in comparison to the rest of the game. The art style doesn't match, but holy shit, David. <laughs> you have so many suspects. Yeah, that's a lot. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. Ah, the old amnesia testimony. The only yep. thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is So D? David's been looking for anyone related to the letter D, their name or anything. Right. And he's uh he's been keeping busy. Did it say all of the blood was drained from her body? Yes it did. Alright. It also mentioned real blood, which time, is a drug in this game, no and all of the evidence. killings around the real blood are really weird. Yeah. With the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even the It's an intense stare. Staring at the fridge. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to get out of the ice box today? <laughs> I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. Yeah, get the D. And when I do... Yeah, okay, make your jokes now. <laughs> That's okay. all I wanted. How does he know? There is only one person in this game that cannot open a door properly, and it's Amanda. <laughs> oh, I love this read, game already. Read what it says here. Hello, Metal. Scratches. Amanda is the culprit. <laughs> Wait, is it a dog? It is not. It is so much weirder. Whoa, my god, what is that? That's Amanda. She thinks she's a cat. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Okay, and rat. Oh, wow, those are, those are some quick time events, that's for sure. Can't escape now. <gasps> so when we go through this quick time, I can see most of the prompts come through at the bottom, and I know what to press. Yeah. So it's really not that bad. This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. Uh, yeah. She this is Amanda. Food she just showed up. Well, that's something of a life. At some point. Um. I don't really go outside. Keep note of her appearance. That's who she is, though. Okay. Well, She's gonna remind you of somebody really later on. <sighs> What? 
And there goes Amanda. And she's gone. All right. She's checking his teeth for something. Everything ship shake. So when you choose a response, you need to stay in character for David. So you don't want to be mean. No. But you don't want to be like unsarcastic. Right. Uh, so let's go with this option. Not bad seems good. As you can see, Teddy, someone definitely got the jump on you. <laughs> Forest Kaysen. Oh God, he's still looking down. <laughs> oh, that's this angle's not good. That's not a good angle for him. He's both a client and a source of information. So Forrest Kaysen is a reference to Forrest Kaysen, who is a reference to Forrest Kaysen. Um, <laughs> swear he keeps naming people in his games Forrest Kaysen, and none of them are related. <laughs> well, okay. So if you remember him as the Red Tree Sapling Salesman from Deadly Premonition, this is not the same person. <laughs> Great. Women, men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me actually means get right over here but then leave me alone just means well leave me alone so oh, Forrest shows up whenever he's having marital problems Tell with me, his wife David, okay so that's most of the time cafe sweary 65 congratulations you're already at synchro rate 100 <laughs> percent coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while yeah, I mean, Once we can just while, go down to donkeys every day for the rest of our lives, but <laughs> it's not going to make me feel better. The boys go to the same place every time anyway. Well, of course they go to donkeys. Yeah, how can you not? What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? You seen the JPEGs on the TV? <laughs> Access gate air Someday we'll have motion pictures. <laughs> That's crazy talk. So, this game no likes to be a TV show a little bit. Right <laughs> yep. And this theme is great, you and I love it. <laughs> I'd watch this show. Well, you're watching it now. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome to D4. Uh, if he's looking for the D, he should just look in the title. Fuck you. So you might be wondering what happens if you mess up this fight. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we also got David a new look. Yep, yep, nice shirt. Uh, and it's a lot of blood. <laughs> oh my god. What, did he get run through a lawnmower? So, the less health you have... The worst David looks. But man, we are just doing terrible. Oh no. Oh, what could this possibly be? Oh, gross. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? It was so, he's a rock star. <laughs> oh man, this is ridiculous. Now, normally we'd lose one more piece of life at the end of this, but I have an item that kind of prevents that, and I think they maybe don't want you to die on this one that you can't control. Right. But, uh, this is pretty bad. Oh, 